Okay, so hello everyone, and I'm back for another video on differential equation. And this time, yeah, we're going to talk about how to find the general solution for a given differential equation by a method called separation of variables. And you know that a separable differential equation is a first order ordinary differential equation that is algebraically reducible to standard differential form in which each of the non zero terms contains exactly one variable and for instance if we were given you know a function or an equation of the form m of x y dx plus n of x y dy equals zero where m and n are function of uh in terms of x and y and some of this equation can be written of the form ax dx plus by dy equals zero after separating the x and the y variables and the general solution can be obtained and can be written of the form integral of ax dx plus the integral of by dy equals the constant c. And you know that the integral of the zero is the constant c. And the method is called separation of variables. So literally, we're just going to separate x and that should go along with dx and uh, combine all the terms containing y and that should go along with dy. Okay. So let's have some example. If we wish to find the general solution, to a given differential equation of the form dy over dx equals y minus one over x plus three. So, so what are we going to do is, you know, we just simply rewrite this such that uh, x plus three should go along with dx and y minus one should go along with dy. And that can be obtained if we multiply everything by dx all over y minus one, okay? Because y, we don't want y minus one here. So we shall have dy all over y minus 1 equals dx all over x plus 3. And as you can notice, you know, the, the y terms are now uh, together with dy and x plus 3 go along with dx. And then we can now execute the integral. So you have integral of dy over y minus 1 equals integral of dx over x plus 3. And then you should recall, yeah. So for this... Uh, lesson you have to review your notes on various integration formulas and some integration techniques okay so you should recall that uh, the integral of du over u is equal to ln u plus c and here you can just let u be equal to ln y oops sorry you can just let u be equal to y minus one and du is equal to dy. On the right side, you can let v equals x plus 3 and dv is dx. And this can now be written of the form ln y minus 1. And on the right side, you got ln x plus 3. And since we are integrating, then we can just write, you know, plus c1 at the end. Okay. And to, you know, this is the general equation, but to write it explicitly, so this C1, you know that this is constant again. This is the constant of integration. And then you can just simply let it to be L and C, okay? So that it can go along together with L and Y minus 1 and L and X plus 3. And then you shall have this. And then by again, by, by applying the, the rules in logarithmic function, you know that ln x plus ln y equals ln x y. And therefore, this ln x plus 3 plus ln c can be written of this form. Okay, So you have ln y minus 1 equals ln c times x plus 3. And both sides of the equation contains ln. Then you can write it of the form y minus 1 equals c times the quantity x plus 3. And this is the general solution that we are looking for. And if you want to write it explicitly, y in terms of x, so that is 1 plus c times the quantity x plus 3. Okay, let's have some more. Say secant y dx minus the quantity 1 plus x squared dy equals 0. Again, you do the same. So we don't want secant y here because this is dx. This is dy. So we don't want 1 plus x squared here. So we just multiply everything by 1 all over secant y times 1 plus x squared. And that leads us to dx over 1 plus x squared minus dy over secant y. And yeah, to easily facilitate the integral, you know that this will lead us to the integral of du over 1 plus u squared which will give us arctangent of u, all right? 
And on the second term, you know that this is one over secant y and that will give us cosine of y. Okay, and this is our new uh, equation and this can now be integrated easily and that will lead us to arc tangent of x minus, you know that the integral of cosine y dy is sine y and equals the constant c, right? So this time, and you can see this when x equals 3 and y equals, uh, x equals 2 and y equals 3, then we are looking for the particular, okay? Solution. So on the previous two examples, we're looking for the, you know, the general solution of a given differential equation. This time, we're looking for the particular solution of the differential equation of the form 2xyy prime equals 1 plus y squared. Okay. And you can simply write y prime as dy dx. Okay. So we shall multiply this by, this is dy, so we don't want x here. So that's 1 all over, 1 all over x, all right, and 1 plus y squared. And then here, we should multiply it by dx, okay, so that we can uh, eliminate dx here. And that will lead us to 2y two dy all over 1 plus y squared equals dx over x. Okay. And then we can now simply integrate. You know that when we let u be equal to 1 plus y squared, du is equal to 2y dy, which you can easily see on the numerator. So this will lead us ln 1 plus y squared equals ln x plus c1. And the c1, we can just simply write it as ln c. So we now have this. Okay. So we have ln of 1 plus y squared. And then this ln x, we just throw it on the left side. So that's minus ln x equals ln c. And then you can just simply write it as ln of 1 plus y squared all over x equals ln c. And therefore, this is the general solution that we are looking for. Okay, So that's 1 plus y squared all over x equals the constant C. And since we're looking for the particular solution, we just, we're just going to replace y by 3 and x by 2. So we shall now have 1 plus 3 squared all over 2 equals c. And you know that 3 squared is 9 plus 1, that's 10, and divide it by 2, and that will lead you to 5. So that c equals 5. And eventually, you know, that the particular solution of this differential equation with this given initial values is 1 plus y squared all over x equals 5, or we just simply write it as 1 plus y squared equals 5x, or explicitly y is equal to plus or minus the square root of 5x minus 1. Okay, let's have some more. This time, that includes uh, some trigonometric functions, sine x, sine y, cosine x, cosine y, right? So again, this is dx, so we don't want sine y here. This is dy, so we don't want cosine y here. So we shall multiply it by 1 all over sine y cosine x. All right. So we shall have sine x dx all over cosine x plus cosine y dy all over sine y equals 0. And then we can now integrate each term. So we can now let u be equal to cosine x. And you know that du is negative sine x dx or negative du is positive sine x dx. So here we can let v, let me call v equal sine y and dv is cosine y dy. So yeah, so both these terms can be written as du over u and we shall have this. Negative ln cosine x plus ln sine y equals the constant c. And then we can combine this by applying the laws of logarithmic function. And that will lead us to ln sine y over cosine x equals ln c. And eventually, that will give us the, uh, the general solution that we are looking for. Sine y over cosine x equals the constant c. Or you can just simply write it as sine y equals c times cosine of x. All right. Another one. This time we have xy cubed dx plus the quantity y plus 1 e to the negative x dy equals 0. And then, yeah, 
So this is dx, so we don't want y cubed here. This is dy, so we don't want e to the negative x here. So we shall multiply it by 1 all over y cubed e to the negative x. And we just simply have x dx all over e to the negative x plus the quantity y plus 1 dy all over y cubed equals 0. And then again, to easily facilitate the integral of this term, we just don't want e to the negative x here, so we will write it here. And yeah, that will become x e to the x. So we shall have integral of x e to the x dx plus the integral of y plus 1 dy all over y cube equals 0. And this 0 is equal to the constant c. Sorry. So this is the integral of 0, and which is the constant c. Okay, so to easily facilitate the integral of x e to the x dx, we shall incorporate, you know, integration by parts. You recall that the integral of u dv is equal to u v minus the integral of v du. All right. So if we let u equal to x and dv is e to the x dx, we shall now have du is dx and v is e to the x. We just integrate this to have v integrate the right side to have e to the x. And then we shall have uv minus the integral of v du. And that's x e to the x minus e to the x. And then for the second term, okay, so for y plus 1 dy all over y cube, we just simply write it as you just distribute y cube each term here. So you shall have y integral of y dy all over y cube and that leads us to integral of dy over y squared plus dy over y cube right and by applying the integration of power so you have integral of y raised to negative 2 dy so we have negative uh y raised to negative 1 over negative one so that's negative and then this one so that's negative y raised to negative one or we have simply negative one over y and then for dy over y cube so that's integral of y raised to negative three dy so that's y raised to negative two over negative two okay so that's negative one over two y squared and then i intentionally did not write plus c here plus c here because these two are just part of this differential equation okay again this is the constant c and then we shall have x e to the x minus e to the x minus 1 over y minus 2 over 1 over 2y squared equals the constant c. And then you can just simply uh, factor out e to the x here to have this. And then if you want to avoid 2y squared here, so you multiply everything by 2y squared. And then eventually you will have right uh -huh, 2y squared e to the x times the quantity x minus 1 minus 2y minus 1 equals 2. So this is 2cy squared. And this is the general solution that we are looking for. Let's have some more. This time we have cosecant cubed x dy minus cotangent y dx equals 0. And again, so we just simply know that cosecant cubed x should go along with dx and the cotangent squared y should go along with dy, and we shall have this. All right. So that's dy all over cotangent squared y minus dx all over cosecant cube x equals zero. And then we can just simply integrate. Okay. But before that, we just write its corresponding, you know, trigonometric equivalence. You know that one over cotangent squared y is our tangent squared y. That's why we have this. And you know that this one over cosecant cube x is simply sine cube x, All right? So integrating, okay? So to facilitate the integral of tangent squared y dy, we shall use its corresponding uh, trigonometric equivalence or trigonometric identity of the form secant squared y minus one dy. And you know that the integral of secant y, secant squared y dy is tangent y, and you know that the integral of this negative 1 dy is negative y. So we shall have tangent y minus y. And again, I just simply do not write c here. And then to facilitate the integral of sine cube x dx, I just simply write it as the integral of sine squared x sine x, that's sine cube x. Yeah? And then I will replace the sine squared x by 1 minus cosine squared x because I know that the derivative of cosine x is sine x. So we shall now have 
1 minus cosine squared x times sine x dx. And then we can now let u be equal to cosine x and d is negative sine x. So we shall simply have negative the integral of 1 minus u squared du and integrating. So you shall have negative the quantity u minus u cubed over 3. And again, I simply did not write plus c here. Uh, or you just introduce the minus sign here and then you just replace u by, where's that? Cosine of x. So that's negative cosine x plus one third cosine cube x. And then we can just simply write its general solution of the form tangent y minus y minus cosine x plus one third cosine cube x equals the constant c. And I think that's the last example.